Good afternoon, uh, Ross Mitchell here, just a little bit of an update on this Wi-Fi tower running uh, Ubiquiti light beams. This is just a, like a relay station on top of a 6 metre mast to get over a hill. Um, yeah, it's just got two, uh, two dishes, one pointing in one direction, one pointing in another direction. And uh, this is the lithium uh, battery uh, pack that I bought uh, second hand out of an electric car. It's an A123 and I've converted it into a 16S, uh, which is 16 cells. Each cell has been individually tested at just over 300, uh, 50 amp hours each. As you can see inside there, I have a, a daily BMS and a little bit of a... a a fuse block there uh, just as a safety measure I've got the two main battery leads coming down from the battery uh, the two leads up the top is actually for the smart shunt uh, Victron smart shunt one does the middle of the battery and the other one does the full voltage of the battery so you get the middle voltage as a um, as a graph to see how well the whole battery is between uh, how to say one one part and the other part as you can see, these this is the uh, the electronics. Uh, in there, you'll see a little Raspberry Pi. Um, just there it is. I uh, can't quite see it. Raspberry Pi 2. And what that does is it's got some Victron software in it for monitoring. And I've got a Victron Smart Shunt I have that actually plugs into the Raspberry Pi. And also, you'll see a, a Victron... Uh, basically smart uh, MPPT uh, controller uh, running all the gear uh, and also runs the V direct port back into the Raspberry Pi. I've got three fuses there as the main fuse as you can see uh, they're all 20 amp but actually they're not uh, they are all 20 amp but I've got another fuse that actually goes to what used to be a ubiquity tough switch but the power supply died uh, as you see I've got it mounted onto the the roof of the plastic of the battery uh, eight ports and uh, also over here I've got a a buck down converter at the moment it's running what is it nearly a quarter of an amp running the two dishes and the Raspberry Pi and all the other associated gear with there that's programmable the battery outputs uh, probably around about 55 volts so I've actually got to uh, power it down to 48 volts to for the, uh, the ubiquity tub switch that runs on 48 volts and uh, it's only been going for the last few hours as you see I've got another little fuse here uh, which is actually uh, a little 10 amp fuse if I remember rightly 10 or 5 amp and that's just to uh, for the ubiquity tough switch to make sure that it actually doesn't uh, doesn't drain too much current which actually you can see the whole lot tough switch uh, the two dishes only runs at a quarter of an amp at 48 volts uh, if I pan up a little bit you'll see the tower and the two 375 watt solar panels uh, running in series uh, to get enough voltage uh, to be able to charge the uh, lithium uh, battery bank uh, various bracing and stuff like that to stiffen it because it's actually quite quite high up here and when, uh, when you look at the car down there I've got a, a grid floor mesh as I pan around there I've got the, uh, the ladder there as you can see by the shadows, you can actually see the two uh, solar panels, that is. So uh, everything seems to be working quite well. So that's just uh, just one update. Uh, time will tell, um, but I think it should be quite reliable. I've tidied up a little bit of the cable. I've got a PoE uh, surveillance camera to go into the network that will actually monitor outside uh, in on the drive up here um, just in case I have any problems but I'm out in the middle of no man's land you could say but um, you never know curiosity uh, gets to some people and they just want to have a look and uh, and so forth so uh, yeah thank you